Welcome to another episode of HG Challenge, and today's episode comes from Quicksilver, spelt K-U-I-K-S-I-L-V-U-R, <clears throat> and he gives me a challenge in Need for Speed Carbon to win a sprint race in on the Desperation Ridge track in under three minutes. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Well... Well, well, when I say that, I mean, he did give me all this other kind of stuff that I felt wasn't exactly all that necessary. <clears throat> so, nevertheless, you know. But because I'm a bit of a sadist, I'm going to make this as difficult for me as possible. I'm going to put it on maximum opponents, hard difficulty, no catch-up, no nitrous. Let's make this as ridiculous as I possibly can. I mean, of course, I could just use this and make it easier for myself. I can't remember the last time I've even done anything. It's probably the last time I did a uh, did a video. <laughs> this now that now that I think about it. But like I said, hang on. Where is where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Like I said, I could use this, or I could just go in the career and use mine, which I. <laughs> but yeah, if we're gonna make this hard. We gotta use a car that's gonna be most possible. And honestly, you know what? It's carbon. Let's just use the Audi. Because <clears throat> if I were, because you know, to be fair, the B, the Bimmer is a pro, is a most wanted thing, and it'd be more fair to just use something that was from Carbon. So yeah, <laughs> nineteen opponents on this track. Maximum difficulty. All gay. What is this? That 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 Viper just launched itself to the hammock. Like, and didn't look back. But yeah, if I'm going to make this uh, challenge anything interesting, not only do I have to try to beat it under three minutes and win, I might as well make it as hard hard for me to win. I mean, it does. I mean, it helps that I'm using essentially one of the game's best cars, the Audi Le Mans Quattro, but, you know. Just got just to gotta think about those things sometimes. Although... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What I'm noticing is that this looks like it's gonna be fairly easy. So, but no, nope, nevertheless, we just just get our way down there. I'll say this game does look a lot better when you leave the visual treatment on low, because when you have it on high, it makes everything kind of just too bluish and kind of really kills a lot of the color. If you leave it on low, you get all that nice color back. Look, it generally just looks a lot nicer with it off. Hence why I'm leave I leave it off because, again, it just looks better. But yeah, I'm 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 getting from here that this isn't particularly very hard. I mean, I, I guess to be fair, the Audi is a bit of a ridiculous car, so you know there is there is that. But even on the maximum difficulty without even any catch up, I would have expected this to be more difficult. But but it definitely does not seem to be that way. So you know, I guess. What, what can you do, you know? Alright, just get around the corner there. So yeah, so we're definitely not going to be able to do a sub two minute. You'd have, to, you'd have to be extremely good at this game and also would have to rely on pro maybe perhaps having nitrous, but yeah. This car is, it's just not, you just can't do it exactly because of how quick twisty and turny this, uh, this track really is. Okay, and a straight line dash to the finish. <laughs> Without any question, that was that was definitely a uh, definitely an easy challenge because I've already beaten it. Two minutes, nineteen point two four. I beat nineteen other opponents. Yeah, again, that's about as hard as it can get, apparently. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to challenge myself, I could use a different car. Why don't, in fact, because this is going to be a rather short video otherwise, let's just do, let's just, this won't count. I've already passed the challenge, technically, the way I, I'm looking at it. Uh, let's, let's get, oh yeah, across this Corvette is a bonus car. I like, forgot about that. 
Let's let, let's see how I get on across this Corvette on that same track, just because I want to use like a muscular car. Because hey, just just to see how I would fare, make it make things more difficult for me. If we, a car being in a territory that where it's not usually supposed to be doing what it can do. Cars are fairly quiet, I'm not sure why. Now because I'm in a Viper, this thing not a Wow. I just I just said that, did I? <clears throat> Let me try it again. Now that I'm because now that I'm in a Corvette, I definitely have acceleration in my hand, but Yeah, see look at that Audi. It now that now that they're actually using Audi on there, it 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 moves. That thing fucking goes. Now that I'm not actually using the car, it it becomes a lot more difficult. I should have realized that this was going to happen. That as soon as I get out of that that uh, Audi, it's it's going to to put an Audi in there in its in its place because I'm not not driving anymore. Now that I'm driving a Corvette. And look at it, it's leaving the pack. That's just how ridiculous it is. And you can just see how the Corvette is just out of its element here, because Corvette the Corvette isn't really designed to really take tackle these uh cars, because all it wants to do is really just slide. It, it has to rely on its uh has to rely on its just dominant amounts like extreme amounts of acceleration to really help it, but otherwise, yeah, you can just kind of see that. See, look, there's another Audi just right behind there, too. Ugh, just getting pushed aside. See how far Phil is? I'm pushing this thing to try to get it to go as fast as I can, but now that there's an AI that actually has the, that car, it suddenly just made it a lot more difficult. I mean, the one thing I'll still be able to do, at least manage to do, finish this in under two, uh, three minutes, because three minutes is a bit too, it's a bit too easy. He didn't really specify that I, uh, that I had to use, like, a certain tier car or nothing. He just said I had to beat it in under three minutes, is it? And, and win, I guess, too, if it's a race, but, yeah. But you can, you can definitely see the, the huge difference. Just, this is just this car just isn't designed for this as well for this track so I lose that I'm definitely losing out where it would be a lot easier with the likes of the uh, the Audi and whatnot with the Corvette not so much so yeah I and I guess to kind of round it up we'll do one more I was gonna say I, we I could perhaps use like one of the uh, the tuners, but since I was original, since I, but you know what, actually, why don't we do that? Let's do, yeah, let's do, let's round it up with a, a tuner, at least, so that I at least go through all three cars. Let's just see how I get on with, like, the Lancer, for example, which is one of the best tuner cars in the game, so. And oh, hey, there's a Bimro and, and another Lancer. Now, of course, the, the Lancer's not gonna have the, the acceleration or the speed that the light, Excuse me, sir, but the likes of the uh, the, uh, the the Corvette hat or anything, but it's definitely going to handle. It's going to the handling is, is where this car is kind of come in handy, especially since because a it, this is one of the best handling cars in the game, the Lancer, and b this is on a on a canyon track, which is where this uh, something like a tuner definitely gets its it gets favor from, where where it can easily just grip all these kinds of corners. And keep as much speed as possible. And yeah, look, <laughs> look how simple this is. I can easily just go through these corners at such a really good amount of speed, it's just simply because it it can handle it. It has no problem coping with it. So, oh, careful now. All right, we're we're fine. Of course, it also still comes down to some driver skills. Sometimes I, I do lack that. But yeah, I just thought I'd show it off. Just if I'm gonna at least try it with an exotic, might as well try it with a muscle and a tuner. The exotic I was able to do. The muscle is just too difficult. It just makes it too difficult compared with the cars it puts you against with. But with a tuner, no problem. It's it does fairly. It does very good job. 
Just and it's largely down to the fact that it can carry so much speed through the corners because it just grips so much. Again, not it's again not particularly a thing I'm fond of with carbon because I just prefer how it was how it worked in uh, Most Wanted. But hey, you know every car has their every each type of car has their advantage and disadvantage. If drag racing was still a thing, the muscle cars would have been absolutely perfect for that. But since that was taken out of a uh, most wanted and does not didn't come back until Pro Street, which by that point it kind of already it kind of changed things up all over again. It's not really much of a it kind of it kind of loses out on that. So, but, but yeah, if I had some cleaner runs, I could probably manage the time on this faster than I did with that uh, Audi. But you could see, but yeah, the Lancer it it's a, it's also still a, a bit of a cakewalk for the Lancer. So. You know, no problem. Anyways, I guess uh, I could end it here and just say all my usual outros, but you know what? Let's just see how I would do with the M3 GTR. I mean, it was the fastest car when we were testing it uh, when we were originally doing all the uh, the runs on what was it, University Way? What when that series? But when I was doing that series before, I ended up having to be canceled because a good portion of my cars don't have any. Special performance. I mean, according to uh, <coughs> excuse me, according to LTL Gamer, he actually says that you they're actually some of the later, the newer carbon mods actually do have custom performances, and that I should look into those. I'm which I might actually do. I might actually take a look into that, and I'll if there, there if there is anything that shows up for that, I will make a video on it. And you so you so you can you can see if, uh, if that's the case. I mean, because if that's the case, maybe there can be. A bit of a carbon mod showcase. It just might not be as uh, it might not. It just might not happen as often as most wanted, simply because of how there doesn't seem to be as many carbon car mods that uh, affect performance. But maybe who knows? Maybe they do not these days, and that that would that would be nice. God, just coming back to this M3 GTR in carbon after having really gotten used to it in most wanted, you could just hear how much of a wine the car makes. Like so much wine. Which, to be fair, is, you know, realistic. I mean, the car did do that in real life. But still, is so much louder compared to how it was in uh, uh, Most Wanted. And yeah, you can kind of see, there's, there, it's, it's a piece, it's really easy for the M3. This car is just, when you put all that extra parts on it, this car is just ridiculous. It was ridiculous in Most Wanted, and it's still ridiculous in Carbon. Just it's just on its own playing field. It's just silly fast in many ways. But regardless, you know. All right, so we just so yeah. Once I finish, well, I'll just wrap. I'll just do my little outro. I just thought I'd just show off a couple extra cars because if I only did it with the Audi, it'd be a fairly short episode. So. So I thought my, I thought I'd show a few other cars to extend it to make it at least a bit more worth your time, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's just easy peasy with this car. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, if you want to request any challenges, please feel free to do so in the comments, and you can also check out the link in the description to see what other challenges are planned. You can also, uh, if you want to follow on Twitch or Twitter, donate to Patreon, or join my forum boards. The links for all that are in the description box down below as well. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care.